Good morning, everybody. Yesterday we talked about pushing, so tricep, front part, shoulder, chest muscle mainly, yeah, and of course the concept of whole body training, functional training. Today we do the opposite. We pull, it's like rowing a boat, yeah, or what else? Ah, you pulling with the hazards. And you want to win. Okay, next, think about pulling, hugging someone close to you. Uh, I don't know. So, we go first, but we have different kind of tools. I have uh, my suspension sling. So, I have some weights, can be stones, whatever. I have a rubber band. So, everything is, is useful. Or you can do it with your own body. But pulling with your own body, uh, well, what, what can you do? Yeah? A column, for example. That's that's the easiest idea. I just hug a little bit around, yeah. Be safe and bring the hands the same like we did yesterday, like on the chest level first time, yeah. You can go a little more backward, or you just the tall, keep pulling, and the very important thing. Be careful, yeah. Keep pulling something like you feel like you pulling your chest forward and squeeze your shoulder blades backward. So my stand is more than hip wide and I try to bend the knees a little bit and as I'm more, I go front with my feet of course more challenging, yeah, away. The nice thing, you can do this with one hand and can make a twist, just be safe that you're not slipping. Option, always remember, it's the same like we did at the push-up position, we have one leg in the back, that's really good, maybe yeah, you're not so fit right now. You want to come back. Okay, first we're done. Make it cut. I come back. Uh, next round, we go for some weights. Can be bar, can be again bottle, stone, whatever. Like jump two plates. Light weight, yeah. And you can do that in a standing or kneeling position mostly. What I'm doing first, I do just leaning forward. So my spine is not round, it's really extended and I bring my shoulder blades up. The easiest row, I call a narrow row. So I twist my knuckles out, thumb is coming forward and then rowing very close with my elbows through my body. Yeah, You're pointing back with the elbows, the elbows showing the direction. All the time I'm looking two or three meters to the front, lift up my chest and moving my shoulder blades, bring them together and squeeze in the upper back, yeah, important, and that's the easier way, we go a little harder, we call it rhomboid day, go, this is how the muscles roll around your shoulder blades, you bring your knuckles forward, knee level, leaning forward as much as you can, and bring your elbows out, same idea, but now I add on also my back part of my shoulder delta, so really bring the elbows up. Okay, that's all for this, okay? Next coming soon, make a break. Okay, I'm back on the ground. I go with my knees, hip wide, on my mat. Remember my, my yoga mat. And I'm starting, bring the butt back down until my knuckles touching the ground, or the, the weights touching the ground, yeah? And you can lean a little bit, and you can go a little bit forward. We have to brace your abs really hard, find your balance. Yeah, that's really functional. Lift the chest up, raise your core, and now you're lifting again the elbows outside. It's very challenging for the lower body too, and the upper back, yeah? Lower back, upper back workout. You can do three or one row, go to extension, bring your hip forward, leaning forward again. Exhale when you squeeze, inhale coming down, yeah? So challenge yourself, how much can you go back and release. Or you go for 10 in a row, that's fine. Try to fatigue a little bit, have a rest, but not too long. Okay, next coming. Okay, I'm back. Really challenging, R rowing or pulling on a table. So for me, the challenge way is coming down on the table. Ready, walk down quickly. Have a wide grip or easier start with a narrow grip. Yeah? And check directly. Line with your arm, it's a little bit above your shoulder. Parallel arms, lift the chest from beginning, brace your abs, and really put the heels in the ground. 
for first time now. I try. Hopefully, the table will hold it. Pulling myself up, try to bring my elbows behind my body. Yeah, that's really challenging. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, easy to use. I go quick up, but also slow down so I can work against gravity. Okay, bigger challenge, wider grip. So, I want to try the same we do with the push ups normally. Go to 90 degree with my elbows. Okay, trust me. Coming up. Oh, that's enough for it. Coming up with the chest, touching the table. Oh, that's great. And more challenging, of course, when you bring your legs a little bit further and extend your legs completely. I try first with the narrow one. Just on the heels. Oh, and pulling up. So I can get it forward. That's cool. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Next coming. Maybe you're on the run and you want to do something in between and you think about push-ups, pull-ups. Uh, so what about a tree is lying on the ground, you grab under and do some pull-ups. Or you find something like that, the concrete here. This idea, we look around and think, what can I do? And what can I find for a little training? You can pull in the front, so I have a different kind of grip. So use a little more the biceps for the pulling. Oh, that's good. Or instead of other grip on the side, pulling a little over, you're just pulling up here. The range is not big, it's challenging enough. As always, I go really with the chest up, and bring the elbow behind the body, then I feel my shoulder blades squeezing together every time I'm rowing, and this makes sense, okay? This is what we're looking for, for the upper back training, biceps, Back part of the shoulder, everything complete. Many options, don't forget your suspension sling. Yeah, and they have the rubber band I want to show you. Only two options, or at the end three. Remember, you can here exactly doing something for your functional training, like balancing yourself with your feet very narrow, or just more for beginner, a little wider than your shoulder. Everything is allowed. All things that you can train just with one leg. In the rowing, it's really like for stabilizing. You can change narrow, right rows. Yeah, that's very nice. You can change the leg. More often, a lot of things possible to do. Or we can do, we go down. I can change my position. I can use the hip. So, I can use the butt, the lower back, and the upper back in the row. A lot is possible for that. I love it. I just recommend it. You can bring it everywhere to the world. Next round is with a rubber band. Sometimes when you want to really work hard, you can use your body leaning a little backwards, but also leaning forward. Yeah, for a row. When I'm ringing about the rubber band, easy to run, put around the pillow. You really go whack, find tension. And the nice thing you can do on the sling and everywhere, you can use the single arm rowing and the good thing is you're twisting the body but just above the belly button so everything is fixed below and use your obliques it's a very good core training additional and a thing you're doing in a martial arts the back elbow everything is possible yeah and in between the double panda the narrow ones everything with single legs what you can do when you're somewhere, you can fix your sling a little down. And then work harder. I can lean a little forward. You know that from a cable tower, yeah? You can bring the elbows back. And with the leaning, the effect is very good for your upper shoulder part. Normally when you sit, this part is really not trained. It's a part you can use more and get stabilized for all the next stability too. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks a lot. See you soon.